My journey started at Eastdale Little League when I was about five. I never had a passion for any other sport, really, but baseball. I moved up, I played a little club ball, and then I went to La Cueva and UNM. Mitch Garber came in here as a freshman and I got to watch him in the summer of before he came. What a tremendous athlete. What a tremendous raw athlete with tremendous energy. Um, and then after that, I got to know him. What a great mental side. The certainty with, with Mitch Garver is that he has a tremendous work ethic and he's tremendously driven. And he's one of those guys that loves the process to get to the goal. Where a lot of people just like the end result, Mitch likes the grind. He works for the grind and, and that seems to be who Mitch Garver is at his core. It didn't come easy to me. I definitely had to work to get to where I was. And that was kind of how I, the whole game of baseball was. I was never naturally just smooth and talented and always had to work at it. Mitch rose out of the pile. And I remember going to San Diego. And when we got to the championship game, we had a young pitcher named Austin House. Mitch got behind the plate. He walked Austin through one of the greatest games ever pitched at the University of New Mexico. That moment was wow, a wow moment for me. And it gave him confidence because the next year and the next year he was MVP of the league. That was pretty special. I, you know, that first year when I won it my junior year with DJ, we both agreed that that was the only way it was possible. If one or the other got the, the award by themselves, it, it wouldn't have been right. So I was happy to share both years of the MVP award with him because we both deserved it. We both played incredible. I got drafted uh, in 13, and I immediately reported to Elizabeth in Tennessee. I played five seasons in the minor leagues. We had just driven from Columbus, Ohio to Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, I got a phone call from my manager after we went out to dinner. He said, I wish I could be with you right now. I want to shake your hand because you're a big leaguer. And at that point, I just kind of forgot what else he was saying. I hung up the phone, I called my parents and my wife and Coach Birmingham, and we kind of, I just shared the news with them. It was incredible. I was gonna be in Minneapolis the next day, and I was gonna help the Twins win. I cried. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. But um, it, was, uh, it was an emotional moment for me, and uh, it was something that, that I believed in. I believed he could do this. I believe he's capable of so much. Coach Birmingham supported me since I was very young. He probably knew about me way before I knew about him. Uh, so he's been in New Mexico a long time. He's been supporting New Mexico baseball players as long as I can remember. And he helped me grow as a, as a player and person throughout my college years and beyond. We've stayed close ever since. And I love New Mexico. I love the people here. I love this program. And it's just been a special experience.